Hillary, as long as I've known her, uh, from the moments I knew her, was someone who was giving to others. From her earliest years, both at the Yale Child Center to her work at, Ch at the Children's Defense Fund, her work on uh, child health and nutrition programs, God knows her work on family and medical leave. She chose to spend every waking moment trying to figure out how to make the world better for working people, for children, for women. In Arkansas, that meant helping build Children's Hospital that would turn no child away, running the state's first legal aid clinic, and leading the effort to ensure that every public school child would have the same educational opportunities. It meant showing families and students and teachers and taxpayers that we are all stronger together. One of the things that Hillary understood is that while education is important, there are a lot of players in that. It's not just the teachers and the administrators, but it's the parents. And even if you're a single head of household, you have an important role to play with your child's education. And I saw her sit down and talk to single mothers and talk to them about how important it was for them to mentor and tutor and encourage their kids in education. And I saw ladies' eyes light up. She said, you know, you got a house, you might have a car, or an apartment, but there's nothing more important in your life than your children because they represent your future and you want them to do better than you. So you have to invest in that. And when she talked to them like that, it was like a personal connection. It wasn't like a consultant or a teacher. It was a, it was a friend. You know, when we think about Hillary as First Lady, we think about the bold actions that she took, leading the effort to get health care to every American with the Health Security Act. The message is simple. It's time to bring about fundamental change, control our nation's soaring health care costs, and provide security for American families again. Standing up to Congress and her husband's administration to go to Beijing in front of China, all the women of the world, and say that women's rights are human rights. Those may be the most famous things that Hillary did as First Lady, but she did so much more to affect our everyday lives, to help families and the nation understand that we are all responsible for each other, that we are all stronger together. Child care was a focus. Long before anybody thought about why is this a serious issue, she was hosting the first ever child care conference in the White House. She had the Secretary of Treasury at the time open this conference. Why? To send a signal to the country. This is just not a women's issue. This is about all of us, moms and dads. It's about male leaders and female leaders. It's about the quality of life we want in this country and the condition of our children. In June of 1999, when Hillary spoke to the first ever um, Children's Congress for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And very unfortunately, um, my oldest son, Christopher, uh, had been diagnosed with juvenile diabetes when he was seven. And uh, she met Christopher for the very first time and she was so compassionate with him. And what inspired me beyond that is she really set out to make a difference. And they provided more funding for the NIH and for the National Science Foundation that had ever been given to those two organizations. That's real commitment to making a difference in the lives of other people. Not even Hillary knew the difference she would make when she went to Beijing. She only knew that she wanted to push the envelope as far as she could. She did, and it changed the world. Let it be that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights once and for all. The other thing that made that speech so incredible is that it had these various litanies. No one ever in the history of mankind, womankind, humankind, had listed the violations of human rights that are perpetrated routinely in many parts of the world against women and girls. And she just cataloged them one after the other, after the other, after the other, vividly, graphically, 
persuasively, concretely. There was no denying it once she said it. And people just went, oh my goodness, she is actually talking about this. Nobody has ever talked about this, ever, ever, ever. And she did it. And when she saw the reaction of people who were even opposed to each other in some ways, saying, Mrs. Clinton, you brought us all together. We all have our differences, but you helped us understand that we have far more in common than we have that separates us. You helped us understand that no country can get ahead if it leaves half of its people behind, catalyzing a movement for women's rights as human rights. And making these issues a life call for her. Stronger together. Hillary took that same vision to the Senate where she linked New York farmers with New York City restaurants, opened new markets for farmers and helped the restaurant owners save money on food. She reached across the aisle to work with Republicans to reform the foster care system. I was uh, formerly in foster care and Hillary set aside an uh, internship slot um, for young people just like me. I think I spent most of my young life thinking that no one, you know, cared about me. No one was talking about me. There was no one in Washington that, um, you know, cared that I moved to a different school or a different foster home. Every day I saw Hillary fighting for kids and fighting for families. I saw her fight for kids in foster care. She knew that these kids across America that had no one else had her and needed her. Hillary carried those same values to the State Department. When her LGBT staff came to see her to explain how their families were discounted, Hillary changed the policies. She knew they were stronger when they worked together. Like being a woman, like being a racial, religious, tribal, or ethnic minority, being LGBT does not make you less human. And that is why gay rights are human rights and human rights are gay rights. She ensured that LGBT families could be posted together all around the world at U.S. embassies, that spouses could be evacuated, which previously was not the case. Your dog could be evacuated, but not your partner and she changed that. She went on camera and she said, if you are young, if you are LGBT and you're being bullied, know that I stand with you and I will do all I can to make the world a better place for you. The Geneva speech where she said once and for all, gay rights are human rights and human rights are gay rights meant no one can ignore this issue anymore. I think the one thing to me that really personifies who Hillary is and who she's always been and kind of what's core to who she is, is love your neighbor. And she doesn't ask, who is my neighbor? She doesn't say, well, love the people who look like you, who are from the same background, who are in your same circles. She knows there are so many people out there who don't have a voice and her childhood and what she was raised to believe is we are called to serve.